is the perfect time to spruce up your home. And who better to help us do that than Carter Osterhaus, the host of HGTV's Carter Can. Here this morning with some affordable DIY projects any weekend warrior can do. Good yes, morning. Yes, good morning. This is kind of fun stuff. So this is a nice, maybe get yourself ready for folks coming over. Yeah, you know, if you want to spruce up your home, make sure, you know, the people notice it. And, you know, so you can say, hey, guess what? I did this, I, I did that. <laughs> I, yes, exactly. I care about you when you come into my house. First thing we're going to do <clears throat> is make a headboard. Now, this headboard is actually very simple to make. Have you ever made one before? I've never made one, but I love this. And this is this is fantastic if you just have sand <clears throat> mattress and a box spring in your yeah, guest room yeah. to really spruce it up. Yeah, make it look a little bit more elegant, make the room look a little bit more um, savvy, I guess. So what we've done is we've taken a three-quarter inch sheet of MDF. Now, you can use plywood if you want, but sometimes it's not as straight as the MDF is. You okay. can use green MDF, which is a bit more expensive, and you can use half inch, but we've used three-quarter inch right mm -hmm. here. So we've made it the width of the bed, and height just depends on aesthetics, what basically. What like. Yeah. So what we've done is we've taken this three-quarter inch MDF, and then we've cut it to size, yep. and then we've put batting on the front side of it. And this is just like batting that you would use anybody who's a sewer. Yeah. You know, it's just sort of stuffing. Exactly, really. exactly. Okay. So just go to a fabric store, get some batting, but at the fabric store as well, you want to pick up your... Uh, material, Our fabric. your fabric, and I. And would you've just, <clears throat> and just, just so I'm keeping along here. Yeah. The batting you've just stapled on. Yeah, and you could use uh, spray-on adhesive too okay. that you can get at the fabric store as well. So you spray on the adhesive to the MDF, and then you roll it over, gotcha. and then you staple it down. And we're going to do the same, but we're not going to use the spray adhesive. We're just going to use the staple gun right here, which you can go ahead. Now you want to make sure that you pull it nice and tight. Yep. And you want to. I wanna, get to do it. Yes. Oh, I've been <laughs> dying for this. Okay, so I put <clears throat> it really tight. Yeah. Too tight. Exactly. No, that's good. Yeah, and just keep working your way down, but hold it nice and tight on there. There you go, almost. Okay, so sometimes the staples I need to practice won't. on my staples. It's wanna, sad, you, isn't it? Well, it's not sad. It's just not the best we've ever you're, seen. You're but so that's kind. A, no, I'm just saying, it, sometimes you want to go back and maybe hammer it down a little bit. Okay. But the big thing on this, so once you pull this all the way over and you get it right. nice and tight on the front, what you want to use is a French cleat. A French cleat is something, basically take what we have is a one inch by five inch piece of lumber. Yep, We've cut, cut on it an angle. at a 45. This is a French cleat. And then you're going to stick one side onto the back of the headboard. And then you're going to take its counterpart and stick it on the wall. Okay, gotcha. So gravity is just going to hang. And this is this not the same width as the headboard, and that's an important exactly, part of the equation. Exactly, because you can see right over here we have the headboard up, and the reason the French cleat is not the same size. Now, what that's going to do is once we put the other side of that French cleat onto the wall, you just plop it right on top of yep. it, and then it's going to, gravity is going to hold it on. But it's not the same width, so this way you can move it back left or right according to where your bed is. Where your bed is. I make like sure you it. Center it. I'm going to master that stapling. It's, if it's the last thing really, I do. It's really Easy. It's, it's really easy. It's really easy unless you're me. Yeah. Um, so another <clears throat> great thing that you can do for your kitchen cabinets, your mm -hmm. bathroom, wherever, yeah. a little paint goes a long way. Yeah, a little paint goes a long way and a new hardware. Now, I know we probably beat this to death, but the reality is hardware, people are buying that. It's going out of the stores like crazy right now because instead of buying a hutch that costs, you know, hundreds of dollars, maybe even thousands, why not just add some paint to it and add new hardware? To it. So and what this you could do for under $100, in some cases under $50. Easily, okay. easily. So first things first is choose your style, what you want, whether you want to go you know, old antique look, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to do like a, a satin finish, if you want to do a painted finish, something like that. Um, now here you can see this was the original color to the hutch. This green has a little distressed on the sides. Okay. So first thing you want to do is take some sandpaper, maybe like 120. Uh, just go ahead and sand it down right. uh, to get that sheen off. Put us some paint on. Does it matter what type of paint you use? Uh, it doesn't matter. It just matters the finish that okay. you want. So how where it's going to be, you how glossy basically? you want it, okay. what, what you want it to look like. Uh, make sure you use only one instead of something like this, which is a drawer or a door pole, which has two screws. Yep. Make sure you match the screw holes, okay. and then simply just you know add this new hardware easy. to it. You showed me a fun trick too. I oh, have yeah. some wire cutters like this. Probably a lot of people do in their toolbox, but I never knew <clears> there was a special little hole right here just for screws. Right. So people think these wire cutters are just for wires. That's not the truth. You can see there's these little screw holes, and lots of times you get screws that are actually too long. Yeah. If they're too long, just fit them and in, insert them into the hole. You've got a just tool like made that. for it. And then you can cut it down to size. Perfect. You just screw it on there just like that. And then you can cut it down to size. It works That perfect. I think I can do. I might go home that, and do that just <laughs> that because can I can do. do it as opposed exactly, to the right? stapling. Okay. Lastly over here, Last a nice way to spruce least. up the fireplace. Yes. Tile. Tile I feel like we're seeing a lot more of these days. Yeah, you know, fireplaces obviously they, they can be a little bit dated. They can be a little bit worn. On here what we've done is we've taken a simple, you can see this is what it used to look like. And now what we've taken is we've added just a mosaic one by one foot by one foot tile. Mm -hmm. Now these are all one inch by one inch uh, tiles on this. You can see there's a mesh back. 
stacking. They come in that sheet. Come in the sheet. Now prep is huge on something like this. And what you want to do is just make sure you cut it down to size. And when you cut it, just flip the tile over. Simple okay. as that. Cut it right down the line. Right down the line. Just like that. And like you can see here that we've prepped. And of course, obviously in the beginning, you add your thin set down and then you leave it set for about 24 hours. Okay. And then you go go back and then you can put your grout on. Then I go back and I put the grout on. Yeah. And you showed me something really important. We, in fact, I'm going to hold this one up if okay. we can. I'm not sure if we can get it. Maybe Klaus can get it. But when we cut it here, sometimes there are little pieces that hang off. <laughs> You're so smart. You I'm very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> but you said pay attention to these because otherwise they will come out. Yeah, because the, it. it'll fray here on the, the back side on the smash. And lots of times that will pop out once you put the grout in. And you'll spend so much time just trying to dig okay, those little Okay, so look for out. those or get some cuticle yeah. scissors. There exactly. You go. And work on your skills with the electric staple gun. Carter, great to have you with <laughs> us. Appreciate you. it. Thanks.